Let's go with some brown first. So I'm going to do first is just kind of make a body of what I want this thing to look like. Kind of an outline. So just kind of have this effect like that. It's looking pretty good there. Um, and then we'll come in and kind of give some highlights before them. So, do do do. Kind of go. This is what I want. I gotta think about this. Looking a little bit like a turd right now, not gonna lie. Or a croissant. It's it's looking a lot like poop or a croissant at this exact moment. We're gonna fix that, but right now, that's kind of what it's looking like. So let's bring in this color here. It needs to be kind of like that. Carry this line all the way through on the bottom there. And we're kind of giving it some form now. So that's our character, um, the start of it anyway. And uh, let's add in another frame here. So, frame, and we'll onion that. There we go. So what I was looking for, I couldn't remember where to turn on onion skinning, but <clears throat> um, what this does is it'll it'll show me um, what was there before. So now I can very quickly go back and forth and <clears throat> paint on here. The first thing I'm going to do on this frame is grab all of my colors from the frame before that. So we'll just go like this. So I have those. And we'll make sure that they can come through. And now I'm gonna take my brush and grab that base color. And that's where I'll draw kind of what's gonna happen here. So I'm just gonna do two frames to get the game going. Um, of this kind of coming in. So this little 
butt area here is going to move in to about there, and then the head's going to come back to about there. And we're going to do is we're going to exaggerate this arc here, and that'll give it like a like a skittery kind of look to it. So we'll come up like this, and then come down like that. That's kind of the the shape that we want to go for. And then down here, we're going to have this edge kind of come down like that. And I do want I want the the head to be a little bit um, bigger, so so that's kind of the look. Probably bring this in a little bit, um, and I might add in more than one frame. But um, go back and count how many segments do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven segments. So starting here will be like one, two, three. Um, four, five, six, uh, seven. So, and these are just going to be more drastic and more vertical. So, something like that. Something like that. Because I think the idea is, like, if this is compressing... And stretching out, um, it's going to look a little bit more thinner and not as as wide. So I'm I'm taking these segments and I'm kind of squishing them up together, making a little bit of a, a happy segment, a happy tree. There you go. So that's the motion. Without any shade on it yet. And I will probably add a lot more detail to this later on, but I'm running out of time for what I have available for this. So, just follow this line here. And probably something like that. Um, I think I'm going to grab... some other color for the eye. Like a bright red. This orange. I like it. It's looking about like what I want to see for two frames. Um, <clears throat> if we wanted, maybe add another frame in here. So here we can just. that and now I can see in between where I'm going and pull this back a little bit and we'll have one other motion kind of in between so
back in. I think we're gonna have it kinda lunge forward here. So. That's interesting. And that's a one password logo. Fun. Let's just remove this. Sorry, editing the stream. Some fail going on. Window capture. Blah, blah, blah. There you go. Sorry about that. Accidentally minimized a sprite and then, yeah. have it kind of come up here to lunge forward <clears throat> and then plop back down again. And so we'll bring this back even more, kind of pull this back like it's standing up. So I'm just going to and exaggerate that and then we'll come over to the top and we really want to look like it's stretching out so we'll go about like that and now the, the face piece will be going forward. So let's just grab it like that. We'll come up here. We'll kind of see how this looks. So. So now we kind of have a little bit of a bounce, a bouncing run, if you will. <clears throat> so I think we're 
we're good. Good there's checking some stream stuff. All right. Da -da -da. I like made up my own rule that this brown material has to like touch those lines. I kind of like the way that, that looks. So there we go, and that's our our animation there of the worm running. Kind of like a little excited, like brain worm dude larva. I keep saying worm, but that's our that's our larva in three frames. So that's where we're gonna start with. Though now I gotta just remove this palette here from each of these, and then we'll export. So I should have saved a while ago. Let me drop that in now. <laughs> 